but what you can do is break it into pieces. So plus, so the integral of t e to the t times e to the minus s t from zero to one, because f is equal to t times e to the t on the interval from zero to one, right? So that's gonna be t e to the one minus s times t dt. That's what you get when you smush those together. I think that's like pretty clear. And then let's see, for this other one, you just simply get e to the one minus s times t dt. Right, you get those, you get those two. Okay, so now what's our favorite way or what, how would we solve this first or maybe evaluate's a better word. How would we evaluate this first integral? So we could use integration by parts using the like table method. So you could put a polynomial here and then your exponential here, one minus S times T. And then just remember that you take derivatives down this column and integrals down this column. So the derivative of t is one, the derivative of one is zero, um, so we can stop. Now what's the antiderivative of e to the one minus s times t? Keeping in mind t is the variable, one minus s is a constant. So that's the derivative. So the antiderivative, instead of multiplying, you will divide. Exactly. So one minus S times T, good, like that. Then if you take another antiderivative, you just simply do the same thing again, right? So that's gonna give you one over one minus S squared e to the one minus S times T, right? And now we match on the diagonals. So match those and then we alternate the signs. That's like our strategy for finding the antiderivative, right? Okay, so that means we can go up here and just write down our antiderivative for the first part. So that's gonna be uh, t over one minus s times e to the one minus s times t, evaluating that from t going from zero to one, right? And then minus one over one minus s squared times e to the one minus s times t, evaluating that from zero to one. So I just, I did them individually, right? But I guess you could have put them together. It's like the same thing though, right? And then, well, we can take the antiderivative of this guy too, right? But we actually already did that problem over here. We know how to take the antiderivative. So that's gonna be 